So we are here in New York City at the Chromebook Plus event where they've announced all sorts of AI initiatives, all kinds of software updates, and some new hardware. So real quick, obviously we're going to get all these devices in the office. We're going to do unboxings and all that kind of stuff. But I just wanted to kind of show you around all the new devices that have been launched at this event and show you kind of the iterations and the different changes that have come with all this new Chromebook Plus hardware. All right, so we're gonna start with the big bad Acer Chromebook uh, Plus 516 GE. You've known about the 516 GE. I've loved this device for a solid year and a half at this point. This is just an updated iteration of that device in all black, brighter uh, RGB backlit keyboard back here. You actually get, I don't know if it picks up on camera, but you get a little bit of an RGB reflection around the trackpad, ocean glass trackpad again. Uh, fuller, louder speakers, but the same 120 hertz, 16 inch, 16 by 10 quad HD screen. You're getting a 1080p camera. You're getting a 3.7 inch or 3.7 pound chassis. So a lot of the good stuff that came over from the original is still here. This is just the updated version, and I absolutely love the look of this one. All right, next up we have another familiar face, the Expert Book uh, Chromebook Plus CX 5403. This one we got hands on in January uh, with a pre-production model. This thing's finally coming out and the big surprise here, 699 is the price. 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. Same big 16 by 10, uh, 14 inch display, quad HD, super bright. We have it way turned down under all this light. Backlit keyboard, huge smooth glass trackpad and most importantly, super lightweight and just wildly rigid. Just feels so good. Still get the one finger lift here. So the hinge is perfectly weighted. We love this device. Um, we've been waiting on the production model to come out and I'm blown away that it's gonna start at $699. Next up, another highly anticipated device. This is the newest in the line of Acer Chromebook Spin 714s. It's the, uh, obviously a Chromebook Plus model. See that right there on the lid. So technically the first 714 spin with Chromebook Plus here, even though the previous couple generations are all upgraded to Chromebook Plus already. Uh, interestingly enough, this one's coming with the fingerprint scanner here and what feels like a glass trackpad. Um, hard to tell, their ocean glass is so good, but you get the upward firing speakers, uh, backlit keyboard. It's running a demo thing, so it's probably gonna fight me to come back on. They've brought back the silvered uh, chamfer around the edge. Nice port selection here. So yeah, I mean, it feels nice and firm like the 714s have for a while. So I uh, cannot wait to get this one in the office uh, for review because this is always a uh, fan favorite device. All right, next up we have a refresh to the Chromebook Plus 514. So there has been a Chromebook Plus 514, but if you remember it had AMD processors in it. We've actually had this device in the office for just a little bit. Uh, so the unboxing and all that kind of stuff will be coming on it pretty soon. But you're getting a touch screen here. They've moved to a Core i3. Um, so the N305 processor here. They took the backlighting out of this one. Ocean glass trackpad, upward facing speakers, 300 nit screen. So. Uh, you know, it's got some it's got some uh, benefits over the existing 514 and some things it doesn't do quite as well. But uh, overall, very affordable device starting at 349 bucks. Comes with half a terabyte of storage though, so very interesting addition uh, to the uh, Acer family here. All right, now we're coming to the Asus Chromebook Plus CX34. If you think you've seen this one before, you kind of sort of have. This thing is basically the exact same chassis. Uh, is the existing Chromebook Plus that's been out since October. Uh, I don't think there's anything different here. So like the same camera slider, it looks like the same screen, port selection, everything pretty much the same here. The big news with this one is that they updated it to a Core i5 Raptor Lake processor. Uh, it still comes with the eight uh, gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. So if you like this and wished for a little bit more power, this is going to be the one for you. All right, so next up we have the HP Chromebook Plus X360. This is kind of like the 14B, so 14C being their upper tier uh, model. They've gotten rid of the 14B and stuff in the in the main naming of it, but uh, that's kind of what you need to think of here. A lot of plastic in the chassis down here, but starting price of 429 bucks. Uh, Core i3 inside, eight, eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. Obviously, it's a convertible, um, 14 inch, 16 by nine screen, upward firing speakers. Pretty nice trackpad and as always a nice keyboard uh, from HP here. So uh, interesting price point on this one. All right, last new one we're gonna talk about is this the HP uh, Chromebook Plus 14 inch. So 
kind of like the X360, a lot of the similar specs, 8 gigs of RAM, 256, oh, I'm sorry, this one goes to 256 gigs of storage um, and starts at 449, uh, I think at Costco, but this is obviously not a convertible version, but upward firing speakers, same keyframe, pretty smooth trackpad. A little bit wobbly on the bottom, but again, for these uh, devices that get down to that $400 range, you expect a little bit of that. All right, so that's about it. I hate to say that's it because that's a lot of new Chromebooks. Uh, we obviously have our work cut out for us to get a hold of all these things, to get them all in the office, to unbox them, to review them. Uh, but it's exciting to have a bunch of new Chromebook Plus hardware. There's some really great stuff in there and just having some hands-on time with it has been really cool. This whole event has been fantastic. Uh, just looking so forward to getting to talk about all this new AI stuff and how it's baked right into the OS. So lots of content coming around both these devices and the new software uh, in the coming weeks and months. So stay tuned for that. But that's it for this one. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit subscribe, and be sure to ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.